An extraordinary atmospheric phenomenon was noticed in this region. At 7.43 a.m., a noise as a strong wind was heard, followed immediately by a fearful crash, accompanied by a subterranean shock which caused buildings to tremble. One had the impression that some huge beam or heavy stone had possibly struck the building. This was followed by two further equally forceful blows. The interval between the first and the third blow was accompanied by an extraordinary underground roar like the sound of a number of trains passing simultaneously over rails. And then for five or six minutes, followed by a sound like artillery fire. Between 50 and 60 bangs becoming gradually fainter, the ground trembled. It was hot and dry when the shining body approached the ground. It seemed to be pulverized, and in its place, a huge cloud of black smoke was formed, and a loud crash, not like thunder, but as if from the fall of large stones or from gunfire was heard. All the buildings shook, and at the same time, a fourth tongue of flame broke through the cloud. All the inhabitants of the village ran out into the street in panic. The old women wept. Everyone thought that the end of the world was approaching. What you just heard were reports by eyewitnesses of the Tunguska event that occurred in 1908 in modern-day Russia. When the dust settled, the forest was a barren wasteland. No crater, no sign of what had come from above, only the remnants of a once majestic woodland, now a sea of charred, lifeless trunks. The few who lived to tell the tale spoke of a fire in the sky, of a force beyond comprehension. But as quickly as this fiery visitor came, it vanished, leaving nothing but questions. The object that caused the Tunguska event was visible in the sky for only a few seconds, probably less than a minute as it streaked through the atmosphere before exploding. It traveled at an estimated speed of around 60,000 miles per hour, which is about 27 kilometers per second. The object didn't actually hit the Earth's surface. Instead, it exploded while still high in the atmosphere, probably at an altitude of about 3 to 6 miles, which is 5 to 10 kilometers above the ground. It is estimated to have been about 100 to 200 feet or 30 to 60 meters in diameter. While this might not seem huge, the energy released by its explosion in the atmosphere was equivalent to about 15 megatons of TNT, which, to put it in perspective, is roughly a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It is more than enough to cause massive destruction across a large area. The object's size, combined with its speed and the way it exploded, is why it had such a significant impact despite not reaching the ground. The explosion flattened around 800 square miles of forest, but surprisingly, there was no impact crater. Scientists believe the event was caused by an airburst of a comet or asteroid that exploded several miles above the Earth's surface. Here's how it works. As the object entered the Earth's atmosphere, the immense pressure and friction caused it to heat up rapidly. The intense heat and pressure broke apart the object or vaporized it before it could reach the surface. The sudden release of energy from this disintegration created an explosion, which is called an airburst. The energy released in an airburst is similar to that of a bomb exploding in the sky, and it can produce a shockwave that is strong enough to flatten trees, damage buildings, or cause other effects on the ground, even though there is no physical impact. In Tunguska, the airburst was powerful enough to flatten around 800 square miles of forest, yet no impact crater was found, which supports the idea that the explosion happened in the air rather than on the ground. If the Tunguska event had occurred over a capital city, the devastation would have been catastrophic. The shockwave alone could flatten buildings over a vast area, potentially tens of miles in diameter, depending on the city size and building structure. Skyscrapers, residential areas, and infrastructure would be destroyed almost instantly. The intense heat from the explosion could ignite fires over a large area, leading to widespread fires similar to a massive firestorm. The initial flash of lights might have even caused skin burns 
to people miles away from the explosion center. In short, if the Tunguska event had happened over a capital city, it would have been one of the worst disasters in human history, far surpassing any natural disaster or man-made explosion we've ever experienced. As for the witnesses, there were surprisingly few, given the remoteness of the area. Most of the estimates suggest that about 60 to 80 people might have seen the fireball or experienced the effects of the explosion. Many of these witnesses were indigenous Evenki people or Russian settlers living in the sparsely populated region. Their accounts describe a bright flash, a trail of fire in the sky, a deafening explosion and intense heat. The explosion was also felt as far away as hundreds of miles, with windows shattering and people being knocked off their feet. Their stories are some of the primary sources of information about what happened, adding to the mystery and intrigue surrounding the event. The exact origin of the object that caused the Tunguska event is still a mystery. However, most scientists believe it was either a small asteroid or a fragment of a comet that entered Earth's atmosphere. It's possible that the object responsible for the Tunguska event originated from the Torrid Complex. The Torrid Complex is a large stream of debris that includes asteroids, cometary fragments, and meteoroids, all of which are believed to be remnants of a larger comet that broke apart thousands of years ago. This stream is the source of the annual Torrid meteor showers, which occur in late October and early November. Some researchers have suggested that the Tunguska object could have been a fragment from this complex, specifically from a larger body within the Torrid stream. The Torrid complex is known to contain relatively large objects, and it intersects Earth's orbit, making it a potential source for such an event. This theory fits with the idea that the Tunguska event was caused by a relatively small, fast-moving object that disintegrated in the atmosphere, causing the massive explosion. While it's still a subject of debate, the Torrid Complex remains a plausible source for the Tunguska object. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope it was fun and informative. I'm gonna go make more videos. In the meantime, you can watch one of these. And please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, have a good time. Bye.